In no particular order, here's a speedrun of some of the best 2D rigging options for all you pro or aspiring animators alike. We'll be keeping each entry brief, so let's get started. Adobe Animate Adobe Animate is tailor-made for 2D puppet animation and being part of the Adobe package, you know it's also industry standard in what it does. But what makes it so special? Other than creating soft and hard bones using Acid Warp tool and changing their type at will, you can also freely manipulate mesh density as well as being able to freeze individual joints and having the option to enable and disable pin propagation across keyframes among other features you will find useful that we unfortunately it cannot get too much into but it is adobe so you really can't go that wrong with it Toon Boom Harmony. Speaking of industry standard, we have the other titan of animation, except this one is designed with frame-by-frame -frame animation in mind as well. A lot of these programs share similar features that we won't dwell too much into, but what could make you choose Toon Boom Harmony over other programs is the fact that it supports bitmap, meaning that drawing experience in it is a lot richer, so you can work with models of different visual styles and work with more things like texture and stuff like that. This to say that other than the usual skeleton rigs that you would be able to create through bones, you will find yourself relying more on layers and hierarchy in some other aspects as well. Grease Pencil Turning to something that doesn't cost an arm and a leg, a grease pencil comes at you free as part of the program Blender. It was made as a direct way to introduce 2D frame by frame animation into a 3D space. Now, the easy assumption would be straight up using a 3D model as your rig, but that can get too convoluted too quickly. You can, however, start with a skeleton that you essentially draw on top of to create your model. A skeleton out approach, if you will. Lucas does a much better job explaining this idea over on his channel, so give it a look. Cartoon Animator Another very powerful software that works with mesh and bone systems as always, but this program relies far more on automation and its workflow, utilizing interpolation, mouse manipulation, and different physics engines to do your bidding. The bone system is just as flexible, but it does more in giving the ability to interpret pre-made 3D movements and translate them into 2D rigs, which by extension also allows you to take advantage of motion capture for full body movements as as well as smaller features such as hands. This will naturally involve more detailed rigs. It can also auto lip sync with the use of audio. Moho. The rigging process in Moho is very similar to other programs, not much to say there, but what sets Moho apart is providing texture even through being exclusively vector based, so you can be far more stylized with your base models. One of its rigging system's better features is smart bones, which essentially allow you to make an auto action that alters your base model depending on the direction the bone is moving, essentially deforming it to look more natural and better suit your needs. Other than that, it's the usual process of adding bones to different pre-selected shapes as well as deformation meshes. Adobe Character Animator uh, This program is a bit more unique. What sets it apart from its counterpart, Adobe Animate, is first, the motion capture aspect, and two, the way you approach rigging. Uh, first, the illustration or the model is usually imported from another program, and uh, rigging opens a completely separate window where you can essentially assign different parts of your model into predisposed categories and body parts that the program then interpolates for you, which then syncs to the camera feed that will automatically animate it according to your movements and even match the mouth movements to your recorded audio. Spine it's the same old story. Spine works very similar to every program that we mentioned so far by breaking apart your model into different sections and applying deformation meshes and bones, except Spine is more tailor-made for creating animations from imported illustrations, so if you are looking to create animated splash illustration, it's a place to consider. Not to take away anything from its ability to rig and animate more detailed movements, but it stands slightly more limiting than something like Harmony, for example. Open Tunes 
Open Tunes is more of a frame-by-frame frame animation program made by Studio Ghibli themselves. So I wouldn't be surprised if you didn't know that the puppet animation is an option there. Although rigging is more complicated and rather more <laughs> rudimentary, it's still possible and can create some decent results. You can assign soft bones, different body parts, as well as deformation meshes, so the process remains similar. You can even have some different drawings for different hand poses and face angles that can be switched according to your timing all controlled through a note system. Overall a solid free option for beginner animators. TV Paint more of a recent addition to this list as they recently added a new type of layer that would allow you to rig through bitmap tech. Other than that it's the same old song of adding bones that match the different parts of your model. You can directly add other bones to a parent bone, uh, standard as it come. You may also copy your puppet layer to other files even if they're not the same size. The advantage of TV paint is similar to that of Moho where you can achieve more traditional looks to your models and environments while keeping the advantage of puppet animation with a rigging system that is extremely easy to use. Synfig Studio Okay, so you will never guess how rigging works in Synfig. <laughs> Sarcasm aside, uh, Synfig is more comparable to Open Tunes in the manner in which it handles models, except you get a more visible and easier to manipulate skeleton without necessarily needing a separate node window for it. Uh, these bones are also rather flexible, so you can link, move, and stretch them after the fact at your leisure while maintaining an accurate model. It's among the easier options out there for rigging either imported images or creating your own in program from scratch. Cell Action 2D. Here's a more unique rigging software that doesn't use bones as much as it uses different vector shapes or limbs with joints and bend slash deformation points are referred to as actors. Now the process of animating in Cell Action 2D is a lot more manual and since everything is a malleable vector shapes it has a lot more flexibility in deforming and giving it more character to the model and the animation. This method also facilitates creating things like turnarounds although it does involve a lot more manual drawing. Uh, for better understanding of this process you should go check out this video by Cell Action Rigs. Dragon Bones after a very short break, we are back to bones! Specifically, uh, dragon bones for all you beginners. Uh, dragon bones is probably one of the easier options to learn out there, um, since it's completely open source. It is also compatible with different game engines such as Unity. The process is similar to its premium counterparts without the hefty investment in retail price. So essentially, you're assigning bones and meshes to different drawn parts, applying the hierarchy and getting a ready to animate puppet that way. It's a perfect starting point and it doesn't limit you in its options either and makes for a smooth transition to other premium programs by virtue of being so similar. And that's all we've got for you today. Uh, we tried to be as inclusive while keeping the list short but I am sure that we have missed a few things here and there so feel free to let us know in the comments down below of your thoughts and experiences as well as anything we might have missed. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you for watching and we'll catch you soon, so do take care. Bye-bye!